Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Taskin and welcome to one of my presentations on Revit Conceptual Massing Design Environment. In this example, I will demonstrate a basic use of a vertical diagrid structure with a scale distribution. Firstly, I will be creating the basic form of our building. I will place a rectangle made by reference lines onto the default reference plane and then placing dimensions to my rectangle and now I will be creating a bunch of parameters to be used throughout this project. First I will have a basic grid dimension which we'll call it X and I'll place this under dimensions and constraints and I will apply a 3 meter value to our X grid dimension and then I will be adding number of parameters which will be a function of X and I'll place them as instance under the dimensions category and I'll create the next one as function of 4 and lastly I'll create x times 8. Now if I put the formulas against these values and um, 8 times x lastly just make sure they're all flexing and then we'll apply some of these parametric values to our basic rectangle. We'll call the length of our rectangle is an 8x and we'll label the width of rectangle as a 4x dimension. Now we do have the basic plan form of our building it is created. Now the next task is creating a few copies of our building form. OK, now we will place vertical dimension strings. Just place with the first block dimension and following by the other blocks and lastly the top bit. So now I will select the first three and apply 4x value as a height and last block I will apply 8x as the value. Now by selecting the two levels I will create my first form and um, I'll just hide that form at the moment to be able to easily select the next lot of reference lines create the second form again hide that element create the third form hide that element and lastly selecting the last lot of reference lines and creating the last form so if I reset my visibility as you can see I do have a basic rectangle building. Now let's go ahead and make a basic curtain panel pattern based family to be used for our diagrid structured facade design. So for that let's open a new curtain panel pattern based family OK, now I will be selecting the pattern and increase the spacing to 20 meters apart so I could see the details a little bit clearer. And next thing I will be inserting or loading a structural framing family from the default library. I'll just grab myself a rectangle hollow section and I'll just select 250 by 150 in size. To place these members I'll go to the 
default floor plan and I'll make sure my detail level is coarse so when I draw my structural members they're on the model lines so I'll just place a structural beam cross parallel to all reference lines and use my align tool by aligning and locking these structural members to the corresponding reference lines just do it again so um, just using my trim command just fill it the corners now next I will be placing the structural elements the inside of this pattern family I'll just um, start with the central piece and then draw three more members on either side again using 3D snapping and using the perimeter frame across next I will be placing a dimension string across the pattern between the structural members and by selecting the equal I now have the pattern family which is split into eight equal zones the next thing I will be drawing a few more diagonal members I'll just go from the middle point to middle point in this instance I'll do the same middle point to middle point and lastly I will draw myself to cross members by just typing in the uh, snapping shortcuts I now have completed the modeling of my elements I'll just change my detail level to medium and and make sure my structural end members is actually extending to the full extension of the frame on the sides that'll just look better in the in the model and I'll do the same with this guy make sure if it's needed on both sides so this dimension is something that just worked it out before I've started this exercise so I wouldn't have to lose time finding that dimension so now if I go back to the 3D view I can see all my members in place in my pattern next thing I will be placing a few parameters to control this family first we will dimension to adaptive points and turn that grid dimension into a reporting parameter which we'll call grid that needs to be instanced naturally and then just put place that under dimensions and the next task is creating ourselves a few visibility parameters for these members so the first one will be the function of x is 2x put that under construction and then next lot which we want to control as part of 4x and again instance and construction and lastly these members will be part of visibility control 8x instance and place it under construction we now created all our visibility parameters so if we go back to uh, family types I'll just add the X grid value as per the previous family and place that under instance and constraints now by using conditional formulas I will control the visibility of these elements that we've selected this is if if the grid is larger than X and then 
copy that field, paste it into the next slot if this is if it's larger than 2x and then paste into the next slot and this is if grid is larger than 4x so if we apply these parameters and we'll give our x as 3 meter value as we've done for the previous family we now have completed our pattern family if I load that into the first family we've created before we use the pattern we naturally need to uh, select the faces from the facade and then divide them into the surfaces by using UV grids and um, next thing I will be selecting the bottom face and changing the layout to fixed distance and applying an X value. I'll do the same for the other grid now following the same principle next phase and turning that into fixed distance this time we will use 2x perimeter doing the same for the other grid and placing 2x perimeter there following it on third phase this time it will be 4x control fixed distance 4x control and then the last phase we will use 8x for that one fixed distance again 8x okay now if we select all the faces together and apply the rectangle family for parameters we uploaded and voila here it is that's our die grid using the scale distribution and giving a, a latticing and gradation effect I hope you enjoyed this video.